was a workaholic, I could have put in 12, 14 hour shifts and come home and be super mom. I was having some pain and a bit of a cough and pain would not go away in my upper right back. And I, unfortunately, I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Well, I was riding my bike way too late and someone came out of nowhere and, and beat me with a blunt object. I didn't think I was gonna make it, for sure. You just know, you know. I had a head injury. I fell from an attic, fractured my skull, and had a brain bleed in the upper left. I was told that I probably would pass within the week. That diagnosis was given to me, and it was definitely one of the hardest days of my life. But I'm here almost a year later, and I'm so grateful to have came to JPS. I came to JPS as a patient. I left JPS as the most thankful person that you could be. When I am able to walk down these halls and see our patients, I think about what it was like when I was a patient. My future and my current present is because of JPS. I don't forget that. Having a place like JPS, you don't you don't put a lot of thought in it going to work every day. You think that, you know, you get sick, you go to the hospital, but I'm very grateful. Seeing my daughter every day, I cherish those moments more. She's strong. She's been with me throughout the whole journey. And I can see that little glare of hope in her eye, but also that she's proud. And it means a lot. I'm here because of JPS, because I was a trauma patient. One of the things that we try to do at JPS is make sure you say hello to people. Make sure you smile. Make sure you realize that the people around you are in your life because every person that you pass has a story to tell. You have a story to tell, so why don't you tell it? Tell it through a picture, tell it through your words. It's because of JPS we all have a story to tell. My name is Jimmy Joan Jenkins and I'm here because of JPS. My name is Elizabeth Pagueros and I'm here because of JPS. I'm Robert Early and I'm here because of JPS. <laughs>